Hello, it's Laura the Liquidation Lady here. Sorry, I'm just finishing up a piece of candy to, with your whistle. Um, I'm opening up miscellaneous boxes today. I'm showing you what I got versus what I paid. And it's December 7th here in a very cold um, Las Vegas. I got most of my door down on my storage because and it's warmer when I can keep it closed up. It's dreary outside. It's terrible. But we need rain, so I'm hoping something comes of it. So, this particular box that I'm going to open for you, I paid $30 plus 16% uh, buyer's premium and, oh, sorry, <laughs> and tax. It's probably about $37. And I do not know what's in it. They do put post a picture, but it's a picture that you, you mean unless you can really see good, you don't have no idea what's what's in the box. So you're gonna find out along with me. One minute. Okay. Oh, has a lot of stuff in it. Um, and a lot of this stuff is going to go straight to the swap meet when we go back. We're not going this weekend because my husband's not feeling good. But a lot of it's going to go to the swap meet for a dollar or two dollars. And we'll see how I make my money back. The last box I opened, there was a, because of the Adidas jacket and the champion pants, there's a lot of profit in that box. A lot. It's supposed to be $250 retail. That's what they say. But I think a lot of it is way over that. And a lot of it is slightly under. So anyway, I got a pair of nice basic pink chenille um, slippers. And those will go to the swap meet. So we need, oh, we need to make $37. Oh, my friend was just asking me today for bubbles. So I'll have to check that out and see if it works. Oh, there's two of them. But no bubbles. She, I mean, those are easy to get. Two of them. So if they work, it, her husband built me these beautiful shelves in here. And um, we're doing, we, yeah, I paid for the wood and all that, but we're bartering some of the, the labor and stuff. So for it's a win-win situation. You know, they get stuff for... You know, just the cost of him putting in a few hours. Okay, here is what appears to be a workout shirt. Workout top, I mean. It is a U.S. medium. I was looking for the brand. I don't see it. But it feels, it feels like good quality. However, because... I am the liquidation lady. This was going for a dollar. There, boom, one buck go. One buck. And I have a lot of bottles with no lids, so I don't know if the lids are in here or not. Um, let me see. That I mean, doesn't really matter to you guys, but I do see a box down there, so I'm wondering if that is the lids or is something else let's find out real quick it won't take me but a second if there's a lids are in there these are good for people who um traveling that they just need shampoo for a couple days or and they don't have to bring them back they can just throw them away or people who make their own lotions and they want samples or whatever you know not super bright in here even though it might look like it on the screen so I really have to kind of um, empty it all out oh this is something different we'll get to that um, I don't know what that is it looks like it goes whatever that is and this does not look like the lids this is door time so we have bottle with no lids and we have this bucket with no lid but it looks like it hangs on something that's my guess which is always a good thing. 
Yep. See, it hangs. It's just perfect. So, I'm gonna keep that. This is, um, you know, this would be good in the car. Put a little um, baggie in it, like a, like a store bag. I'm not gonna get rid of these with the, the garbage because maybe they're in here. But surprise be to me that there's a door chime inside the box, I, the, um, the pail there. However, how do you open it? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, there's not one chi door chime. There's looks like two door chimes. So, and a remote. So, that's nice. We always have one on our door because um, we our bedroom is way in the back of the apartment, upstairs and way in the back. So, we always keep it on there. This is for a Note 20. And it, um... It's really pretty. It's a phone case. That's very pretty. Note 20. The only problem is these are so difficult to sell that they end up going in my dollar or two dollar bin. So. And I don't know why they're so hard to sell because they're so pretty. Oh, uh oh. Look at this. Looky, looky, looky. I had a feeling. Got the lids to the bottles. Now I can sell them. Yay for me. Because these are just miscellaneous boxes that they've just thrown together of a bunch of off the pallets that they get. Okay. This seems to be a shirt. It's extra, extra large. Woman's. I was first thinking it was a bathing suit, but no, there's just two shirts. They s smell like perfume, so those are going to go in the dollar the dollar bin as well. More clothing. And who doesn't want some a, a deal like that? You get a forty dollar bra for a dollar. And to me, I really, you know, I only paid one or two dollars at the very, very, very most. Mostly, it's under a dollar. This is a dress. Or no, yeah, maybe it's a long tunic. Is very wrinkled, so that's gonna go in the dollar bin. So so far, I'm pretty sure that we've done at least maybe ten or fifteen dollars. Here's an inflatable collar. My poor dog just had knee surgery, but she didn't. She doesn't lick anything, so I didn't have to worry about that. So that'll just um, be sold. Um, I believe this is a tablecloth. Just a basic checkered, black and white checker. So that'll go in the dollar bin. The sad part of it is they're going to open it up and <laughs> take out the thing and just throw it back in there. But it is what it is. Um, this is a silicone skin catable, compatible with Arlo Ultra. So that goes to the um, um, security cameras. That'll go in my $2 bin at the swap meet. This is a body shaper, I believe. Oops, I just dropped the paperwork. Oh, I don't see this every day. A little bow tie. First I thought maybe it was a dog bow tie, but it's not. But, that'll go uh, in the uh, dollar bin, if I can even get it to work. I, I don't see so good already, and uh, it's all right. It's a good bow tie. Bow tie. What else do we have? This may be a taste of something. Yeah, at the swap meet, you know, sell the um, electronics and um, so, stuff so cheap, you know, because I get it cheap and it, it, in, in order to make a profit, a profit is a profit. Now, 
yes, I could probably get more money for it by doing it online and stuff, but that takes time. You got to take pictures, you got to list it, you got to wait, then you got to wait to get paid, you got to do this and that. So take it to swap me, throw it in bins, sell it for two bucks, and boom, boom, you're done. It's a um, big tablet case like an iPad or maybe something big, but it's got the camera spot there. Bicycle seat. Cushy, cushy, cushy for your tushy, tushy, tushy. Um, this is possibly women's stuff. Let's check it out and see. Energize your will. Oh, in an MMA training gloves, I think is what it says. Oh, sure enough. Look at that. Brand new. I'll have to look those up. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Now this this particular item could pay for a good portion of the whole box. One item. I just have to look it up. Um I have so many boxes I'm only gonna be able to do a few. Okay. Say no more. Going in the dollar bin. This body thing is a um, woman's underbust corset. This is a corset. But I can't sell it for any more than a dollar. Too much time and energy. Oh, this is cute. Little princess purse. And it's new. That's cute. But it's also one in the dollar bin. You know why? Because I'm Lord the Liquidation Lady and you can get a bargain from me. I'm not sure what this is, but it's heavy canvas. it's a table runner and it's very pretty you can't really appreciate the colors in it from the screen but it's it's very pretty and now i've unlo un undone it oh wait you know what you know what it is it's gotta be curtains yeah it's curtains and it's they're oriental i should take that to my masseuse we, we go to the the um foot spa for massages and they're all so sweet there that's strong trust me I'd have to go there because I get so tired with this um, work another item let's see here it just keeps unwrapping Looks like, it looks like it's a turtleneck dress, polyester dress. Just plain white, so you probably wear something over it, I'm guessing. I don't know. Dollar. Now, if you think I'm selling them too cheap, it's only because it's, it's quantity. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They're not like they're, like they're big time brands, like the Adidas and the Champion I got. Those won't go, go, won't go for a dollar. But, um, you know, that's how you, you make a lot of money in one day. This is a wireless Bluetooth remote control for A29 dash cam. I have to see because we have several dash cams. In fact, I just got one today. I hope you guys think this is fun because for me, this is like just Christmas every day. And, and I own it all. That's what's so amazing. All this stuff you see back there. Of course, I don't want it any I'd rather have the money. But it's it's a process. I'm in the process of trying to get everything organized now. Oh, what is this? Oh, bunny ears. Oh, I bet this goes to that um, bow tie. No, here's the bow tie. <laughs> this is a Playboy bunny costume. That appears to be brand new, thank God. It's got all the pieces, all the parts. 
that's 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 a good item, I think. Try to get some money out of that, even though it's not even Halloween. It's always Halloween in the bedroom. Well, that doesn't sound right. Oh well, you know what I mean. It's always fun to dress up. This item is it says women's elegant short sleeve mock neck blouse. So you know if you live if you live um, in the Vegas area or you're going to the swap meet in the Vegas area, check me out because I always have good deals. I don't have a permanent spot. I I rent it by the week when I can go. This week we're not going because of hubby not feeling good. This is pretty though with the little ruffles. We're almost done with this box. Hang in there with me. Hang in there with me. Okay. Brand is no brand it looks like. Oh, here's a brand. Maybe. No? Urban Cocoa. So to me, that's no brand. Just polyester shorts or skirt or something. A skirt. Black polyester skirt. I think may have found the top. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's the top to the, the pail. Sure is. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. Almost done. Hang in there with me. This has a cord. Figure out what it is. Another cord. Um. <laughs> Cords. I think I had mentioned on one video that one time I was I had a pair of Sony earbuds. And I opened it up, and there's like white things in there. I'm like, what are those white things? And I'm looking, I'm looking, and I look at them closer. It says Apple. They were Apple iPod Pros. And, and I got the Sony ones in there, too. I'm like, who does that? Oh, I just dropped something. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I bet that sounded terrible. I'm very sorry. I was looking for the part that I dropped. God knows I'll never find it. I'll find it later, but I don't want to hold you guys up. Still trying to figure out what this whole thing is. Actually, now I just dropped another place. Where are they all going? They were going into Never Neverland. I am so sorry that I did that. This is a professional microphone. And it comes in a nice silky bag. Now, this is just a jack. It's called B-I-O-F-O, -O, Viovo. This is a clip. This looks like another jack. Nope, 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 nope. I see a squishy thing. Microphone. All right. I'm gonna have to figure, uh, fix this, all this up later, but um, I'm not gonna take the time right now to bother with it. So that's a professional microphone. That's very interesting. I wonder what the, um, oh, here's part of it. It's a carabiner, I think. No, it's another little jack. Well, that's interesting. I'll have to look up the value of that. Okay, two more items, I think. No, three. This has kind of been a boring video. I'm very sorry. This is Nicey Rig. Um, there's so many times where I get stuff that I'm like, what is this? And they see they cover it up with their labels. So it's like, your guess is as good as my guess. Ugh. 
I, I have to hope that there's instructions or something. There's some kind of a mount. Let's see. Nicey rig. Now I wonder if that's something to do with a gun. Oh well. I'll look it up. But I'm thinking it might have something to do with a gun. And you know what? We own we own two guns. One for him and one for me. But um, there's so many other things that you can buy to go with them. It's ridiculous. Okay. We got one more bottle. <laughs> and then this big box. So you tell me. Now, I have, um, I spent about $37 on this um, box. Every box I pay different. They're all different. You see the value. Sometimes people say, well, it'd be easier if you just take all the boxes and average it out. But I'm like, I, I like to see the value of each box individually, you know. Oh, this is a nice dog bed. This is nice. Very comfortable. We're talking about taking Daisy to the um, flea market with us and putting her in one of the baby playpens with a nice warm dog bed, blanket. Because we leave her home way too long on that day. We feel so guilty about it. If it's just a dog, but yeah, it was just our dog. And we love her so much, like our like our own family. This is for a Motorola, so that's a dollar item, for sure. People don't really, I don't even know if people still buy Motorola's. But, well, that's my second box. That's $30 plus buyer's premium and tax. And, um, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, the other ones I'm going to open in like $17 plus the um, buyer's premium and tax. And that could have a $100, $200 item in it. You just never know. That's the fun of it. So this is Laura the Liquidation Lady. Please subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below here. And I'll obviously reply. So till next time. Stay safe, stay warm if you're in Vegas, and I'll talk to you later. This is Laura the Liquidation Lady. Bye-bye.